Join us, MrTruck.com, for truck reviews, trade reviews, and accessory reviews. Welcome to another Mr. Truck Review. <laughs> we, we, we review trucks and trailers and accessories and, and watch for the latest and greatest to bring it to you folks. Because there's a lot of cool stuff out there. I'm big on traders. I'm big on trader safety. And we're going to be interviewing today the folks from Hall Logic. We've got Michael Hall. He's the chief CEO and the head chief or whatever you call him. And then he, we've got Thomas Corey, all from Hall Logic. Now, if you folks remember when we did the Hall Gauge, that was another one of Michael's products, and it was a box to put on your onboard diagnostics port, and it would use your truck store converter and a few other devices to tell you the weight of your truck, the weight of your trailer, the combined weight, your weight distributing hitch, your tongue weight, your payload is wonderful. It's one of those devices I really appreciate for towing safely. Because like I say, trailers can be complicated. I've been doing it for 40 years, and there's still things that I'm learning. So I know it can be intimidating, so we try to figure all that out. And now these guys, they've got another new product. It's going to be all about helping you improve your trailering. And it's, uh, it's actually free. I love it when it's free. It's a phone app, and it's really cool. So I'll let you guys explain exactly what it does. Yeah, so the, uh, the GVWR app is, is really something that we always anticipated that we would do after we did um, Hull Gauge, and now it's Better Way um, by Kurt. Uh, we decided to keep going, and really, it's the other half of the coin. We we see it as the as the ratings uh, side of things. So, um, better way will help you get get your weights, get your tongue weight, and get all those things. But then, the other part of the equation, the other part of the context, uh, was also, you, you know, how much is too much, right? So, so this is really uh, dealing with um, GVWR. Uh, GCWR um, and and really uh, the app uh, is there to help you to find out um, if your tow vehicle and your RV or whatever you're towing is uh, is a good match. Well, that's good. That's gross vehicle weight rating, gross combined weight rating. I mean, there's a lot of numbers out there, and it's it's good. It's, it's a good thing to understand. That's why I do a, a thing on my website about a, a glossary, not a glossary, but a a thing that explains what all these words mean because it gets confusing. But yeah, that's yeah. that's cool. So this is going to be the next step. That's really going to be what you want to do to be safe on the road. Yeah, and I think uh, probably the easiest way to uh, to describe it is is uh, maybe to sh show the app to go ahead and and uh, take a look at the uh, at the dashboard, if you will. So um, what we've tried to do here is make this really intuitive. Um, in in the we show a few examples when you when you download the app, but this plus in the bottom, you can also um, set up your own. Um, but we'll go into one of the, uh, uh, you can name it and everything, but we can go into one of these uh, um, examples uh, to show you. This is also something you can use even when you're just shopping around, right? Looking at different, different ones. And what we tried to do on this dashboard is really show the user um, something much more intuitive. So instead of, uh, explaining for a half hour what GVW is and GCW, uh, we hope with this um, this dashboard at the top, it's it's pretty apparent, right? So we're showing uh, GVW here. That's um, got the truck on the scale, but you also see that uh, that's also shows the tongue weight, right? And and so that all of the uh, the vehicle weight plus the uh, pin weight or the tongue weight is what constitutes GVW. Um, and then GCW below it, that's the entire combination, right? So in the two sliders that we have here, um, you can uh, weigh the total combination. Uh, that can be done at, at a CAT scale or of course with a better way, uh, you, you can get that as well. Um, and then this uh, slider on the bottom is the vehicle disconnected from the trailer. So yeah, we have a little, uh, little info to, to help you on that as well. And, um, and these graphics animate 
also with with the motorcycle and the people in them as you as you add weight in there too. Um, and as you add this in there, you know, green uh, means you're good. Yellow, you're getting close to to uh, one of these ratings. Um, and then red, of course, you're, you're going over. And what we're trying to help with is many people have been caught in this situation, right, where they're they're actually okay on combined. They aren't towing too much, um, but many times we're going over on a gross vehicle weight rating. And so um, this is gonna this is gonna help you if you're over on the trailer, if you're over on the truck, or if you're over in the combination. I'm gonna give you a quick quick view to see how you're doing. Well, that's good and that's cool. I like the idea of shopping where you can get all the numbers off the little sticker on the trailer and plug them in there and see if this is something your truck's even able to tow. Because a lot of people, that's a big decision. They can't just, they don't know if you can tow it or not. The seldom will say, yeah, you can tow anything with this truck. You know, and, and then the RV industry tries to make every trailer made for a half ton. They put the axles in the middle, so you got a teeter-totter. So there's a lot involved in this and shopping for the right trailer. I, I think that's great. Yeah, that's our hope is that really that you're right. Unfortunately, that salesman is in it is in the wrong position, right? They, of course, they'd love to sell a more expensive, bigger, <laughs> bigger RV. So they're so they're going to say yes, yes. We we hope to really give that uh, uh, give the users knowledge is power, right? So so you have this in your hand and and um, and you'd simply just go in and and hit these the the gears that we have on here, the settings. You can change. Um, the settings for the vehicle um, if you're shopping for a vehicle or you can change those settings for the trailer um, and it'll take you through uh, to help you find them uh, for the trailer especially this is really easy right there's a nice there's yellow placard right on the side of the RV um, those are probably the easiest I think some of the other trailers um, it's there as well sometimes a little harder to get to but, uh, yeah and then the gross weight on a truck is really interesting because that's another big question I get asked all the time is, you know, how much can I haul in a truck when I pull a trailer? I've got to put baggage in there. I've got to put cases of beer, rifles, the mother-in-law, all those things. Mm -hmm. And you, they need to know what that gross number is so they're not – so they know what to unload. <laughs> That's him on a trailer. People spend – you know, they don't know these numbers. So they just start loading the thing up till it's full to the top of the door. So, yeah, this is a, this is a good way to do it. And, you know, people understand is – Doing this wrong could affect your insurance. It could affect a lot of things, even a warranty on your vehicles if you overload these to an extent that if you're in an accident with somebody else in Colorado, which is you, they don't care if it's you and somebody else, they go weigh your rig. And that's how you get into trouble when you find out really what all these things weigh. You need to know these numbers way before you head down the road. Wouldn't you all have a safe vacation, a safe trip to the mountains and the whole thing? Yeah, I, I agree. I think that it's, it's a nuanced issue, right? Is I, I think too often... We just take the, uh, we heard something on an ad or, or somebody heard, oh, that can, that can tow 13.5 and so start loading it up. But um, we hope with this app to give that more nuanced answer, right, of, of uh, unfortunately the automakers, um, I'm not going to fault them for this, but, you know, the, the tow ratings that they have assume that there's only a driver in the vehicle, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. And, <laughs> and hey, that, that's okay, but unfortunately, this isn't how we use our rigs, right? Most people, they, 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 they put the biggest trailer they can on it, and then they load the family in and the, the ice chest and the four-wheeler in back. Um, and, and so, yeah, I, I think, I hope that this, this app will help people to, to see the, the kind of that variation of, yeah, if, if you're bringing the family and you've got a quad in, in the back, then it's, it's a totally different story. You, you may be fine on GTWR and GCWR, but you know, you're over on your gross vehicle weight rating, for example. Yeah, and that's about the only information you get in the door stick except Chevy. They've been really cool to GM. They actually give you all those numbers. <clears throat> it tells you your, what your tongue weight is, your payload, and your, your trader weight, which is really cool, but nobody else does. Ford, you got to look stuff up, takes a week on the internet to try to figure out what your truck's actually capable of. It gets pretty crazy, but uh, yeah. yeah. That, and then, Ken, we've heard that from customers, and we're actually we're going to be doing some things, some exciting things in the future here to help with that. That GCWR number, you're, you're right, that uh, um, the new GM pickups are making that easy. But uh, So you're going to see some stuff from us where we're going to be helping you easily find that uh, code for your axle ratio 
um, and uh, and also help you on the RAM side, you know, get your VIN in their site and and, and find it out. And and so, yeah, we, we think there's some things we can do to help help smooth that process. Because I agree, get, getting GCWR, it's too difficult. Yeah, that that's a really good idea. Doing uh, what the actual ratio is, because I when I used to sell trucks, I could look it up and I knew a letter meant limited slip and all this other stuff. But that's one thing people don't know. And now with these ten speeds, they're getting some crazy acceleration numbers a lot different than what i'm used to so yeah that would be awesome to know what you're because people buy used trucks and they don't know what race you know what axle they have they're not going to go out there and spin the drive shaft in the wheel like we used to do to count rotations so no that that's, that's a really good thing to add to the app i like that idea so what other goodies in this app you got something that tells you how to find restaurants or what else does it do <laughs> <laughs> we tried to keep it pretty simple for uh you know we'll keep adding things on here i think to make the make getting the ratings um, a, a bit easier. And actually, we're, this is where we're open for, uh, for suggestions. This is available now on iOS and also uh, Android devices, and um, so Apple or Android devices. But uh, really, we're looking for, we'd love to have um, comments and, and ideas for, for features uh, that we could continue to add to this. And, and uh, we know that um, we'd especially like to hear from from people who may be new uh, in the industry, we're, we're really hoping to take to help people go from novice instead of having to make mistakes over 30 years <laughs> of uh, you know having having towing mistakes. Um, could we get people up to speed a lot quicker? And, and so that's our goal. And we would we'd really love to hear uh, people's experience using it. Um, and get that feedback so we can make this more intuitive to help people um, come up to speed a lot quicker on this before you have, you know, some of these accidents, there's, there's no going back, right? Well, that's true. And that's, and a lot of people need help with trailer answers. You know, Ford's got a device that helps you back up and, and Ram's got a device that blinks at you, tells you how long your trailer is or the matter of fact, they're trying to figure are finally deciding that, yeah, people pull trailers in these trucks and they need to do a few more things to help them. And this is good. Now, one thing, it may be hard to do, but a lot of people don't understand that the Gower, the gross, the gross rear axle weight rating, and it may not happen if, you have a, if you're not overloaded, but a lot of people don't know that there's a rating on those axles, and the back axle is the easiest one to overload. If you're apt to possibly do that, maybe it's hard to do is get that rear, the Gower, the rear gross axle weight rating, because uh, that, on a half ton, it's important. And a three-quarter ton, you got a full floating axle, it's not as big a deal. But on a half ton, it can be. But I don't know. That might be too hard to add to it. I don't know. That's a good idea. I mean, I'd, I'd say in general that we've seen if, if, uh, if you're within GVWR and you're within GCWR and you, and you have some reasonable, you know, if you're using weight distribution, if it's a, you know, bumper toe or if you have the correct pin weights and tongue weights, generally the, the GAW the, the gross axle weights fall within the, the GAWR. Um, but yeah, good, good idea of, of uh, perhaps something that we could uh, continue with. So yeah, we, we considered it, but I, I'd, I'd say right now to, to keep this simple, we kind of saw GAWRs. We, we thought that we could describe those essentially as a subset of these, of these other numbers. Again, trying to make it, you know, intuitive, you know, for now, but, yeah, good idea, possibly, where we could go. Well, wait, wait. <laughs> but actually, you just go out there and see the truck, the bumper's on the ground. You know it's probably a little too heavy. So <laughs> you can visualize some of this stuff. But, yeah, we just we did a oh, half ton yesterday. I got one with TFL, and we had a four-inch drop on the truck, and that's getting to be common on these duties when you're maxed out. And that really changes your headlights and a lot of stuff. It's amazing that these truck manufacturers are giving us these giant weights, but, you know, they, they can't figure out how to keep the back end level. You know, you got weight distributing inches, which helps. But yeah, it's a it's a complicated business, this trailering thing, and you know, it's all the help they can get. I mean, you're right; it's really intimidating for the first first person to get the trailer, and they don't know what to do, and they're scared on the road, and it's a whole new feeling. And you know, you got to figure out mirrors, you got to figure out all these things. And the more knowledge you can get, because that's what runs the world is knowledge and lack of knowledge. If you're one of the guys with the knowledge, you're the one that's going to make it to the end of the game. So, yeah, that all that all makes a lot of sense. Well, you know, at, at, uh, I'm going to get this live probably tomorrow, and uh, what's, we're going to put the link to your app at the bottom, 
in the description of the video. And I'm going to build a page on MrTrader.com with this video and a few more comments on it. And then whenever there's an update, you'll let us know and we'll make a, you know, make a press release or something. Let people know that you're still working on things. That's what's cool. Is about you sold one company, now you're working on something else. The smart people just can't sit still. And this is good. This is good. I, Mike, Mike, I've known you a long time now. I mean, it's, it's, uh, you're on top of things. And I'm so glad you're working on projects that make trader and safer for people because not everybody does that unless they're forced to. So this is good. And, you know, you're coming out with a free app that people can use right now. And this is, this is good. It's a shopping tool. It's a safety tool. And it, it makes a lot of sense to me. You weren't referring to me when you are talking about 30 years of trading mistakes, were you? I, you said something about that. I, <laughs> I don't know. You didn't say 40 years. So I guess it must not be me. So anyway, well, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Anything else you want to add? Or? I, I think uh, maybe I'd add is, is we are still here. We're continuing on. Of, of uh, We continue to look for solutions in within this space. We, we think GBW... Are this app is is a good start with that, but yeah, you'll you'll continue to see us innovating within this space. Um, so yeah, st stay tuned, and we we'd love to hear uh, feedback of of really what problems uh, people are facing. We we have a few projects underway, um, and uh, yeah, stay tuned. Well, cool. Well, parting knowledge here from an old man: don't believe what the truck salesman or the trader salesman is telling you. Baloney. So keep that in mind, folks. And I'll get this video up and you'll enjoy it. And thanks for watching. If you have a short bed truck, you know it's not easy to hook up to a gooseneck. Pop up came out with these extensions from 9 inches to 16 inches to keep you from breaking out your back window when you're pulling a gooseneck trailer. And everybody uses a short bed. That's the most proper truck there is, is a crew cab short bed. So protect that window.